Hey Scrappers, welcome to another video. So what we have here is the three phase motor out of one of these exercise bikes. And as you can see 1.5 kilowatt at 1000 RPM, three phase. And what we'll do is we'll take it apart and then we will try and um, press the stator out against these neodymium magnets as you can see here, very powerful very very powerful and what we did over the weekend is my father and I we got one of the exercise bikes as you'll see um, after the segment is we got one of the exercise bikes put up here and we attached a little light bulb to it and um, yeah as I said in the previous video you're able to use this as either a motor or a generator and you'll see in those segments just how much we were able to generate just by hand cranking it so what we'll do in the future is we'll set one of these bikes up and we'll use our legs to see how much more power sorry more voltage we can generate out of these motors sorry these generators right. oh it's blown blown we decided to move it from the top of the freezer to the floor. At current setting it is upside down, which will enable us to crank it and also clear the floor with the pedals. What my father is doing is he is also setting up the voltmeter. Um, as you saw in the last segment, it blew the light bulb. So what we want to do now is test between two of the three phases to see how much voltage at arm crank we can get out of it. Um, at, when it consumes voltage, that is a 1.5 kilowatt motor but you'll see shortly that we were able to get between 50 and about 63 volts out of it which is pretty good considering we're only cranking it with our arms So what we'll do now is we will continue to remove these hex bolts and then take it out. So I took one of these apart last week and um, took all the motor, sorry, all the copper out of the stator here and it was um, quite interesting. It's quite interesting. It's um, not the same as a conventional three-phase motor in terms of how it's wound. For example, as you'll see, as you'll see when I get into it, these um, neodymium magnets were actually quite um, easy to take off. They're glued to, like not ridiculously glued. You know how you kind of. Sometimes going to use a jackhammer to try and get something loose. Nothing like that. It's just um, so that they don't fall apart from the heat that's generated. Um, and this is what I got from the last lot. I think 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. And they're all north, south, north, south, north, south. So <coughs> you can arrange them however you like. And um, yeah, make other generators in the future with those types of magnets. And surprisingly, these bolts aren't, as you can see, I'm not straining nearly as much or even at all these bolts aren't very tight considering they have they hold together quite a crucial piece of the equipment I mean these neodymium magnets are unforgiving that's how strong they are so what I did the last time I did this is I pressed it in from sorry pressed it out from this side and um, had to jam a couple of things in there to keep it from snapping back and I almost did have my fingers caught in here so as you'll see I'll try and use my thumbs to push it as you see it's going 
protruding out the top there. What we need to do is once that's like so, we need to um, pry it or keep it from sinking back in towards the magnet. So, these magnets are, are ridiculously powerful. <laughs> Ow, what they are. Right, all the way in, please, thank you. Right, that's good, hold that there. Once I've got it away from the magnets, it'll just come out. Yep. So there we go, guys. Managed to get the stator out of the housing, away from these powerful magnets. I had to ask my wife to give me a hand because, as you saw before, I didn't have the ability to keep pressure against this, as well as these powerful magnets trying to pull it back in to seat it. So what we'll do now, I'll just show you quickly. Um, just get a flat blade screwdriver. down the back and then peel it off. I mean a little bit of the magnet comes away with it but that's not really crucial. And then essentially I do that all the way around. I let them fold onto each other to the about four four thick and they slide them up and I'll do that all the way around. I'll just show you. Maybe even just three thick. Four thick is probably too powerful. So there you go. I just clean all the loose bits off. And these are now really powerful magnets. So what I've done guys is I've cleaned all the um, insulating material off of it. Um, lifted it all up so that it makes it easier, easier for it to be unwound. And we'll get into it and make a start. Right guys, all done, all unwound, see how much we did in 4 minutes and 42 seconds. So what I'll do now is I'll quickly uh, roll this all up into a ball, come back with the scales, and we'll see how much we, we net from each one of these status. And one last talking point guys before we get straight into the weighing of that copper we just unspooled, is the quality that they use in these things. I mean, that's quite thick, that's probably like... 10 mil all together and it's steel as well so it's a good chunky piece of steel um, the frame here this is aluminium as you can see all that is um, as, you, and as you can see down there I just because I couldn't figure out a way to knock this out so I could just this is a piece of steel here too but I couldn't find a way to knock that out so that I could take the whole thing off as one so I just um, save a sword down the middle and yeah this is a nice piece of Aluminium, same with the legs here, this is the feet too, they're all nice aluminium as well, and the pedals too, or something rather the, the stalks that the pedals attach to, and then the rear sprocket, sorry the front sprocket, it's all aluminium as well, uh, where's my magnet, so yeah, and then you have the internals, and then the stator this is not the one this is the one I did last week I um, took all the plastic off just to make it a little bit worth more and then finally all these nice um, bolts and stuff and nuts they predominantly came out of this one 
that is magnetic. It looks like stainless, but there's a little bit of a um, magnetic attraction there. Here we are, guys. Last but not least, the way up for the, the copper. Well, that's not bad, guys. So, 839 grams from that stator. And as I said before, previously, all that value from the aluminium and the steel. So, I think these bikes are actually well worth the um, the effort to take them all apart. And as you know, because I'm a micro scrapper, I will try and get as much value out of it as I can. So, what we'll do, guys, is next week's video, we'll be getting into these massage guns, seeing what they are comprised of, um, the motors, see what the quality of them are, and see if they're worth um, stripping down, or, well I'll strip them down regardless because I enjoy it, but whether or not they're actually worthwhile. There are batteries in them, there are lithium batteries in them, so that's another thing to be wary about. Um, so yeah, I hope that was a bit of fun for you all guys. Thank you all for joining me. Look after yourselves, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers!